How many houses do you need to retire? Uh, um, what is your definition of retire? Welcome back everybody, such a pleasure to be back. It is the summer and it is hot and unfortunately humid. My name is Alex Beltran and I talk about real estate tricks, tips, and topics. So if you want the latest on everything real estate related, go ahead and subscribe to the channel twice by hitting that subscribe button, poking that little bell, because YouTube apparently really likes redundancy. So I got an email earlier this week saying, all right, without the sales pitch, how many houses do I need to retire? To which I responded with a very detailed email, basically trying to understand what they meant by retire. And I haven't heard back from them yet. <laughs> Which happens more often than you think. In real estate, you constantly get approached by people that want all of your attention. And much like my dating life, ghost me. And don't feel bad for me. I made my bed, now I gotta lie in it. Besides, I've grown a tough skin from doing this for so many years. And as enticing as it may be to just give someone a numerical answer, the fact is, it's just not that simple. First, you gotta ask yourself these questions. What does retirement mean to you? Does it mean sitting on a boat, sipping on margaritas on Lake Havasu? Or does retirement mean driving your new Rolls Royce down the Las Vegas Strip, dressed up like a Panic at the Disco music video extra, while throwing thousands of dollars down on the roulette table? Double zeros, double zeros, double zeros. There is no wrong answers here. Everybody has different goals in life, and knowing what they are is a good first step. The next question is, how much money do you need to achieve your goals? Let's break down that Lake Havasu lifestyle in a monthly dollar amount. 2,000 bucks a month for a decent house. I mean, you can always call me and I can help you find that house. A thousand bucks for your automotive needs, you know, insurance, car payment, all that cool stuff. A thousand bucks just for fun money, you know, for dining out, going to the bars, going to a Panic at the Disco concert. Another thousand bucks for cost of living expenses and an additional thousand bucks a month for a rainy day fund. And that comes out to a nice and tidy $6,000 a month for monthly retirement expenses. You see how easy retirement numbers are? Pfft, you thought this was complicated. <laughs> okay, look, I know I oversimplified that and I know that there's a lot more that goes into play when planning for retirement. But I want to simplify the process so that your brain processes the feasibility of the matter to help motivate you and take action. Lastly, when you want to retire is very important to know. But for the sake of this video, we'll stick to the goal of retiring when you own enough income properties to hit your monthly income target. Be it at 38, 48, or 62, whenever you hit that goal. It's safe to assume that if you're in the camp of wanting passive income, then I can also assume that you're trying to mitigate risk as much as possible. So let's go with rental income properties as your retirement income as well. Let's go with $3,500 as your target passive income for retirement. I have a client that lives off of $3,500 a month with two income producing properties. He bought two fourplexes a couple years ago and now those properties are worth a lot more because of the appreciating value as well as the equity that he has in them. But more importantly, now he makes more than that $3,500 a month because rent prices keep going up. Yay! And every time a tenant pays rent, his net worth also goes up. Double yay! Because they are paying off his loans. Now, I'm sure you must be asking yourself, how is this guy living off of $3,500 a month? Well, he decided to move to Bali, Indonesia, where $3,500 a month American allows him to live like a king. You always gotta remember, location, location, location. To keep things simple and universal, I'm only gonna calculate the taxes, the maintenance, and the insurance. If you're coming from the commercial real estate world, you may know this as the triple net, or the mmm. Let's say you two are an expat living in a country where the US dollar has a great exchange rate like my client in Bali, and you too only want $3,500 a month in passive income. Well, first you need to choose your budget. Since the national median price is $230,000, let's go with $200,000 just to make the math simple. Now, a loan officer is always gonna be able to give you more exact numbers based off of your credit and all that jazz. But in this particular case, we're just gonna use a simple mortgage calculator. So you find a house for $200,000. Now, a little bit of a disclaimer here. As of the time of this recording, interest rates are just bouncing around all over the place. The average right now is 3.8. On a conventional 30-year loan, you'll need that 20% down, which in this case is $40,000, meaning that you're financing $160,000 making your monthly mortgage payment $945 
and 53 cents. In this particular case, there is no HOA fees. And usually when you pay your monthly mortgage, a small portion of that goes to paying for your property taxes, as well as fees from the good old escrow company. And the way the property taxes are paid varies in every county. Like here in Omaha, you're basically paying for last year's property taxes. So take into account the tax payment structure. It's usually broken down in your amortization schedule. Since this is an income property that will be rented out to tenants, you want to make sure that you get the right insurance. It is not worth cutting corners in the insurance department because you're going to regret it when you actually need it. Once again, these prices vary from region to region and house to house, but let's just say it's $1,200 a year, making it $100 a month. And let's just say you set aside another $100 for maintenance and repairs, bringing you to a grand total of $1,145.53. And you found a great rental location where you can achieve that 1% rule. 1% of the purchase price of $200,000 is $2,000. 2,000 minus your expenses of $1,145.53 equals $845.47 as your net. If you replicate these exact same variables, it means that you're gonna need to buy four homes in order to meet your retirement goals. If you wanna make $35,000 a month, then you need 40 houses, or adjust your terms and price points. Now I'm keeping this as simple as possible. There's a lot more nuance to real estate investing. You have to calculate the closing cost, possible repairs, the downtime when the property is vacant, and a number for unforeseen variables. This is more to break down the basics of how many houses do I need to retire? Which actually brings me to the question of the day. What are some up and coming foreign countries that you want to retire in? Go on ahead and drop your answers in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Personally, I want to retire on Mars, but I'm weird, so don't copy me. If you found this video informative or entertaining, go on ahead and hit that like button. It really helps out the channel. The better this channel does, the more I get to invest in Tesla. The more I invest in Tesla, the more money Elon Musk makes. The more money Elon Musk makes, the more he invests into SpaceX. The better SpaceX does, the closer I get to retiring on Mars. Hashtag retire on Mars. I'm totally making this a thing. You can't stop me. <laughs> Bro math. You know you liked it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please go on ahead and do so. If you want to keep up to date with everything that I'm doing in real estate, go on ahead and give me a follow on Instagram. If you want to watch some more of my real estate related content, I'm going to go on ahead and link it here and here. Other than that, see you on the next one. Peace.